All right, guys, today we're going to focus on learning how to properly set up, break down, and use our triple compartment sink. One of the first things, obviously, is that there are three different compartments. Our first compartment is for washing, our second compartment is for rinsing, and our third compartment is for sanitizing. Hopefully, if the station was broken down properly the day before, it should look just like this. Nice and clean, thoroughly scrubbed down. Whoever did this yesterday did a fantastic job. We've got all of our scrubbies in one container. We've got scrub brushes in another container. Up top, we've got our buckets. And then we have some squirt bottles for our cleaning chemicals, okay? So again, whoever did this the other day did a fantastic job with it. What I'd like to bring your guys' attention to is the fact that we have a nice, very helpful um, dispenser unit here, okay? The reason that we use this dispensing unit is so that we do not waste chemicals. The chemicals that we use are very expensive, guys, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're utilizing our product to the best of the ability and getting the biggest bang for our buck. Here you can see our dispenser machine. We have one side for detergent, and we have another side for sanitizer. You can see that there's two dials up top. I'm gonna to show you how this works. You'll see these hoses coming out of the dispenser machine, okay? And if you look over at this sink, you'll notice that there's a hose connected to it. This hose runs up and connects into our dispenser machine. So when you are trying to dispense either soap or sanitizer, you're going to be using this sink to do so. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna turn on the water here, okay? And now you can see I've turned the sink on, the water is running freely. When I come over here, I'm gonna turn this valve and it's gonna shut off the water to the pipeline, all right? Now what it's doing is instead of sending water through the spigot, it is actively sending water through the distribution unit, okay? And that's what we want. We want our liquid to be able to go into this uh, channel here so now we can distribute soap or sanitizer, whichever one we want, all right? So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna take my hose here. The first thing we're gonna do is fill up soap. So I've got my hose with the soap dispenser going into the sink. Now I would like to close my drains. Under here, all of our sinks have a drain valve that opens and closes. To close this, we're gonna lift it up and push it over. Now our drain is securely shut, okay? So we can come up here. We're gonna swing our spigot over. We've got our faucet turned on. The water is running in through the machine. Our hose is in the sink for soap. And we're gonna turn the knob for detergent. So you can see now that I've turned it completely vertical. And if you listen, you can hear the soap liquid being dispensed into our sink. For this particular unit, you will need to distribute water and allow that to run while the sink is filling up with the appropriate ratio of soap to water and additional water to fill it up. We have a sticker here that indicates the fill line. So that's where you're gonna be filling your water up to. Now we're gonna take a look over here to the sanitation side of the sink. Let me get those scrubbies out of there, they don't belong. So the same thing, we've already got our water turned on, it's going to our unit. So now, for sanitation liquid, I'm going to take my sanitation hose and I'm gonna put it inside that part of the sink for sanitizing. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna turn on my valve and that's going to actively distribute sanitizer into the sanitation compartment, okay? I did not come and close my drain, so that's a problem. So I'm gonna come again and I'm gonna lift up and push over and now my drain is securely shut. Okay, now you can see that I've closed my drain. The water is slowly gonna start to fill up. If I close my drain, in fact. There we go. Okay. You can tell if your drains are not completely closed because you'll see water coming out of the bottom. 